Boston, Saturday, June 27. Cold Hard Steel meets I did rivalry. John Cena pulls Rusev for the United States Championship in a steel cage match. Plus, Seth Rollins collides with Roman Reigns for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It's WWE Super Show, Saturday, June 27. Tickets and VIP packages available this Saturday. You already know Kowloon Restaurant, established in 1950 and spanning four generations, serves a multi-Asian menu. Did you also know that Kowloon Restaurant is New England's premier Asian dining and entertainment complex, serving Cantonese, Szechuan, Thai, and Polynesian cuisine? And did you know that Kowloon Restaurant is also the home of the finest Japanese sushi? If you haven't dined at Kowloon Restaurant lately, then you simply haven't dined at Kowloon. Kowloon Restaurant, Route 1 North in Saugus. This is Shelton R Benjamin. This is Harley Race. This is Mick Foley. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. This is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans from around the corner and around the world, welcome to another installment of Wrestling Insiders. I'm Dan Marotti. Today, let's take a look back at the May 7th, 2015 edition of WWE SmackDown, emanating from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. The show opened with Jerry Lawler in the ring interviewing King Barrett. Barrett told Lawler that there's only one true king, which Jerry had no time to hear. He would not repeat the phrase, all hail King Barrett. As Barrett was ready to lay Lawler out, Dolph Ziggler ran in for the save, leading to a singles match. Ziggler and Barrett had a solid opener to kick off the show in ring. Dolph was on his way to defeating the new king, but Sheamus ran in, causing a disqualification. As Dolph was getting beat down, Neville ran in for the save, leading to an impromptu tag team match. Ziggler and Neville came away with the victory over the European duo of Barrett and Sheamus. Ziggler got the pin on Barrett. Not an exceptional way to start to re-push Wade Barrett after giving him a fresh coat of paint that he desperately needed, but always good to see Ziggler look strong. Barrett was in no man's land. Bad news Barrett, the character, was over with the fans, but he just hasn't seemed to click in a wrestling feud, so to speak. Giving him the crown gives him a little bit more sizzle, but he's already losing in the opening matches of the TV show. I don't know, what's going to happen with King Barrett? I think he should have been in a position to look stronger after winning the King of the Ring tournament last week. Luke Hopper came away with the win over Fandango. I've noted that Hopper has unfortunately been on the fast lane to nowhere. After the matchup, his former tag team partner Eric Rowan hit the ring and wound up attacking Fandango as Hopper looked on almost confused. Looks like there could be a repairing of Rowan and Hopper after the disastrous split they had last fall. It's a sin that with all of the television time WWE has each week, that they never explain why the Wyatt family trio broke up. That's unacceptable and a slap in the face to the fans that support WWE each week. Either way, they're much better off as a tag team, and I'd prefer to see them with a manager and or be put back with Bray himself. After the commercial break, Lana was in the ring to introduce Rusev. She asked the fans not to chant for her because it upsets Rusev. We know where this bad boy is going, fans. Rusev came out like the 1998 Mark Marrow and told Lana to hit the road. Rusev put over the I Quit match with John Cena that takes place at Payback, Sunday, May the 17th on the WWE Network, in what is being advertised of the final of their four straight pay-per-view matches that they've had. The trio of the WWE Tag Team Champions New Day defeated Ryback, Cesaro, and Tyson Kidd in a six-man tag team matchup. Really like this match. I'm a big fan of six-man tags that are given a little bit of time, and this one went two television segments. New Day is really being given a chance here after the fans almost created the New Day Sucks chant at WrestleMania in rhythm to the way Xavier Woods pounds the ring canvas. Ryback's getting a renewed focus. That's great. 
I'm a little confused as to why Cesaro and Tyson Kidd are baby faces all of a sudden, again with zero explanation or an angle as to why, but it is what it is. Bray Wyatt's entrance hit, which distracted Ryback. Big E nailed the distracted Ryback, tossed him out of the ring. And back in the squared circle, Kofi Kingston rolled up Tyson Kidd. He held on to the tights to ensure victory. Naomi, with Tamina Snooker in her corner, defeated Emma in Diva's action. Naomi was a big fan of the Jackal from his Mass Madness days. It's good to see Tamina back in action. She's got a great size, a unique look, and she comes from a great professional wrestling heritage. It looks like Tamina and Naomi are going to be paired with the Bellas in the coming weeks and months. It'll be interesting to see where that goes. The Lucha Dragons defeated the Los Matadores in a great tag team match that continues to make me want to see a stronger tag team division as they have some solid duos right now. The original Sin Cara was over huge and sold boatloads of merchandise even when WWF gave up on pushing the character when they began to have issues with the portrayer of the original Sin Cara, much better known as Mystico, one of the top wrestlers to come out of Mexico. Sin Cara never became the main event they envisioned, but he resonated with kids. He was MWF Junior Ambassador Devon Brent's favorite at one point. Bottom line is Lucha Dragons can improve the tag team division overall, and they can also be merchandise superstars. Mark my word on it. After the matchup, one of the Los Matadores, I can't tell which one is which, I'm sorry, they pushed little El Torito. He was pissed off by the loss. I only have to say this, WWE, please do not break up this team if you don't have a long-term plan for either or both of them as singles competitors. They're much better off as a tag team. You know, kids seem to like El Torito. I don't know. It was just a year ago they were having those uh, Wii LC matches, but that's better forgotten. WWE will just put them back together and down the road with no reasoning as to why. So just leave them alone. Leave the Matadores alone. I like them. Main event segment of the show, it was the contract signing for the Fatal 4-Way Championship match at Payback between the champions Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, and Dean Ambrose. More bickering between Rollins and Corporate Kane, then it broke into a complete melee with Ambrose, Reigns, and Orton going after all four members of the authority. In the end, Rollins was the last man standing as SmackDown went off the air. I love the contract signings. I think they should do it for all the big championship matches. But I think they're better served for Raw, which can be long three-hour broadcasts on a bad week. Hope the fans in attendance got a great dark match as those fans pay tickets to the live events to see the top guys wrestle, not sign contracts. Let me know what you thought of SmackDown this week, fans. Love fan feedback. Love respectful debate. John Cena Sr. is planning on being with us for several Wrestling Insiders programs next week. Don't forget to sign up for our YouTube channel. We have over 700 videos absolutely free for your wrestling viewing pleasure. Also, check us out on social media. You never know what's going to go up there. <laughs> Believe me. You can continue to help our efforts by using the links below. If you shop on Amazon.com or WWEShop.com, click those links. We get a small percentage of any sale. On Amazon.com, it doesn't have to be wrestling merchandise. It could be anything like a DVD, a television, a table, whatever you might buy there. It doesn't cost you a penny more in your total order, and it helps us pay the bills to keep the lights on as we provide this content to you absolutely free. You can simply donate direct to us on PayPal if you like using the email address uh, bw at bostonwrestling.com. We appreciate everything from everyone without wrestling fans there is no professional wrestling i wish more people would remember that until we speak again folks hope you and yours have a great mother's day weekend